Okay then guys, so I've not had much time today, so this is going to be a super super short episode I'm sure, or I might make it in two days into one episode. Ah, no, so I don't wish to make it one video. Um, but yeah, I've cleaned up a lot of the crap off here, all the underseal and seam sealer and stuff. I was just spent quite a lot of time actually trying to work out what what panels what, um, and what new panels are part of which bits I need to replace and everything. Uh, so I found out that this top piece here is part of the new closing panel, so I sort of peeled that off. Um, and well, that's about all I've done really, because I uh, spent ages just looking on Minispare's website and on M Machine and stuff, trying to work out what what panels you can and can't buy and what comes with what sort of thing. So uh, yeah, anyway, this put up a bit of a fight, it took a while to get off, but that's off now. So um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's with this. that's going on with this closing panel. It's quite clearly had a new one before. Because this bit here, I don't know where it was now. I don't know which way around it went. Somewhat, something like that. But along this edge here, it was already like cut off, and this closing panel's been added on after. It's not like a. It's, it might have been a homemade thing or a non-heritage panel, but either way, it's uh, some reason not part of that. Anyway, so that's kind of uh, that. So uh, yeah, I've. Oh, my London to Brighton prep video, which will probably be the one you saw before this one. Um, I, I shot that today, so I've been working on that today. And I'm now going to see um, a friend with a micro-engined mini. Uh, because it's not working. And London to Brighton is in three days and she wants to take it to that. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and hopefully fix that this evening as well. So, uh, yeah, not have much time on this today. Oh, wow. Well, that needs, uh, that needs tightening up, doesn't it? Look at that gap. <sighs> right, okay, so uh, I'll tighten that up and then I'll be off. And maybe back tomorrow, get this side peeled off and some more bits cut out, maybe. We'll see. Right, okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye for now. Hello there guys, so uh, I just realised that I forgot to intro this video and I've also decided because there were literally two clips that I'm going to make this two days into one video sort of thing. So today we will take off the closing panel dingy majiggly bit over there at that side and just go from there really, get this remainder of this crap off as well. So uh, yeah, let's crack on with that shall we? Okay guys, so uh, just got this plate off at this side. What a nightmare. Um, so that I just counted and at this side, well over at that side that we did yesterday, there was about 10 spot welds holding that one on. And there was 15 holding this one on. So whoever built this side was feeling very generous. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, yeah, there we go. That bit's off now. There's still this little bit at the side here where it's sort of welds up to the wheel arch which needs to come off but that'll just come off with the wheel arch when we change that so uh, that can stay there for now um, so yeah it's kind of the mess left behind uh, I'm a bit of a loss what to do next because well I think I should probably make up some sort of a great thanks uh, some sort of like a jig to bolt to the heel board that lines up with these holes here so I can cut all this out and know where the holes need to go in the new panel because obviously it doesn't have the holes pre-drilled or anything um, but I don't have really anything to do that with obviously I've got the rear subframe over here but I know damn well that that doesn't line up properly with those holes anyway because when I actually fitted that to the car um, because I did replace the subframe whilst this was still on the road and it was one hell of a struggle to uh, get it to line up with these holes at the back anyway so yeah, and that is a, a genuine like it's a original subframe off another car which 
I cleaned up and painted and everything. So, yeah. I need to make something. But I don't have any like box section or anything to make up a jig with. So, yeah, a bit of a loss what to do now, really. Whether I just try and peel back at this repair panel that someone's made, you know, just cut along where these welds are, and then, yeah, I don't know what's best to do. Um, bit of a pickle. So, yeah, I'll just sort of contemplate that and get back to you soon, I guess. Decide how I'm going to do this, what I'm going to do now. Alrighty then guys, that's me done for today, uh, just have places to be, it's, uh, it's 20 to 7 anyway. Um, so obviously we've cut all along the back of the boot floor here because of all this crap that's welded to the back of this hinge panel. And in doing that actually, this piece just completely fell off. So all of that wasn't actually welded to anything other than the itself, so that's great. Um, and now I'm just in the process of picking out all these welds here and revealing the remains of the original panel underneath, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, I want to save as much of the original panel as possible because you can see it's like up to, you know, from within about a centimetre in. There isn't really any rot on it at all. Uh, there's obviously like a bit of surface here where it's been welded on and the paint and everything, but that can be cleaned up. Um, so as much of the original panels we can keep as possible would be uh, great. So that's why I'm unpicking all this because there's literally, ow, that's sharp. Right up to about here is all original panel. So you know, there's a good three, four inches there that can be saved for, most, for the most part. So uh, yeah, that's uh, where we got to anyway. So we'll carry on unpicking next time and hopefully get the rest of that horrific patch out of here and see uh, what other horrors may lie beneath. So uh, yeah, not much structure left in the uh, rear panel here, as you can see. Um, but that's going to probably be going anywhere because it's just doesn't well. There's nothing really left of this lip, and underneath the rear lights, especially at this side, is uh, just gone. So um, it's going to need. I think it, it's uh, ideally I want the panel that comes up to about here, just that goes the whole way along the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's about 200 quid just for that panel. And for an extra 20 quid, you can get the rest of it, which comes from here all the way up to the bottom of the rear window. So all that for 220 ish quid, or just that for 200. Mm, makes sense, doesn't it? So it might even be worth just getting the whole thing, spending that extra 20 quid, cutting out the bit I want and either keeping 
the other panel or just selling it on to someone maybe who needs an old rear window a bit or anything around here, whatever. I'll probably make more than the 20 quid extra back easily. Whatever, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see. But, yeah, it definitely needs that lower part of that panel. Um, but, yeah, that's going to have to wait a little bit anyway. So, yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at for today. So, this is going to be the last video I'm making now. The last one I'm recording before London's Brighton. So, it's a Wednesday today. Tomorrow, I'm getting my stuff ready for London's Brighton, cleaning the car, etc. Friday, I'm at work. Saturday, down to London. So, uh, yeah, just tidy this up. And uh, I'll be off home, and that'll be it until next week now. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and, uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.